Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the highly requested video that you guys have told me so many times to do and it is my vanity tour slash makeup collection finally and this is not in any way bragging how much makeup I have. Um, I have just collected this over the years and I work so I spend my money on makeup and clothes. So let's get right into the video. I don't want to make this intro really long because I know the video is going to be very long. So if you guys want to see my vanity slash makeup collection, then please keep watching. So this is my vanity. That's me in the mirror. And um, I got this from Ikea. I built it myself, technically. Um, I just got the two drawers. They're like the half Alex's drawers. And then I got the glossy tabletop. And they actually don't have this anymore. They have ran out or they don't sell them. I don't know why this is like the best one. But I do have to get a glass for on top so I don't mess it up because I already did. So let me first show you what I have on my vanity on top. So on top I just have a little dish that I got from Savers and it just has like my lip balm and some matches for my candle and like SD cards, little things like that. Then I got this acrylic case from Amazon and I will leave the link down below. They um, gave me this, this company that sells these. So I will have the link down below if you guys want to check them out. And they even come with a bag of these beads, which is pretty nice. And I really want to get more so they can match the other things that I have my brushes on. But I thought it would be cute to display my pink brushes, well pink bristle brushes, the white ones from Wet n Wild. And I know there's some dirty ones, but... Ignore that. And this is just a picture of my family and my little cousins on a photo booth. And this candle is a candle that I got from my FabFitFun box. I'll also link that video down below if you guys want to check it out because I got that candle on it. Moving on to the next side. So these are all my other brushes. These jars are recycled candles from Bath & Body Works actually. Once the candle's all gone, you just clean it out and it works pretty well as brush holders. So I just used some of the other beads to fill this one up because these are all my eyeshadow brushes. And these are just my face brushes and the other one as well just has my other face brushes. On this side, it has my little three acrylic case that you probably saw on my declutter video with my lipsticks. And it just has my ColourPop lipsticks here. Some of my top favorite ones that I always reach for. My lip liners up here. And then some perfumes. Gucci Guilty and this uh, Burberry one that were both gifted to me for Christmas. So that is all that I have on top of my vanity. So opening the first drawer, this is where I keep my eyeliners, mascaras, brow stuff, and my concealers. This is just my switch for my lights. As you can see, it turns my lights on. And then these are just some sharpeners. These are products that are new and I haven't used, like backups. And this is my like brow maintenance set. So I have like my tweezers, my scissors, something for pimples and yeah so in here I have my brows and this has a mixture of products this has like elf Milani this is my favorite at the moment this elf pomade and then I also have some Anastasia and then I have some benefit my favorite brow brush and then I just have my ColourPop pencil and my Ofra pencil brow pencil just all that brow gel. In here it's my mascaras. This is my favorite one. The Colossal Big Shot. And then I have some Telescopic, some Butter London I think this is. Yeah. My other favorite mascara, the Roller Lash, L'Oreal, and other ones that I don't even remember. I got these on BoxyCharms and I haven't even used them. I should probably declutter. I know you guys want a declutter series. I need to do that. And this is my eyeliner drawer. So I have Tarte, Kat Von D, Benefit, NYC, some random dollar liner. I have more Tarte, my NARS, Milani, another Tarte, Maybelline, other stuff like that. So these are all liners. And then this is my concealer. So I keep my concealers on top next to my brows because I use them to like clean up my brows. So I have e.l.f., my favorite right now, the Wet n Wild concealer, some dollar one that I got from Shop Missé, Tarte, um, LA Girl, so some NYX. Some more wet and wild LA girl all that type of stuff so that is it for this drawer my second drawer is blush and this has a lot of blushes I think for the amount that I do not even wear anymore so it has some Too Faced little mini ones color pop that I don't even reach for anymore and I didn't honestly even like them in the beginning some elf which I do like some more elf wet and wild which are absolutely my favorite blushes like so inexpensive and the new shades that they have come out like these three are my favorite 
if I reach for a blush, they are my Wet n Wild. And also, sorry I forgot to mention, these containers are all from the dollar store. I don't want to spend a lot of money on containers, like, to keep makeup. Like, why I already spend enough money on makeup, so for the dollar store containers, it will do. And these are my Milani blushes. These are also my Milani baked blushes. These are my Benefit blushes. And then I have my NYX. So I do it by brands. I separate it for the most part. And then this is my e.l.f. Uh, like bronzing and blush duo. This is a uh, Maybelline, I think. It's so old that the label has come off. And I don't even think I have used this in forever. And I just keep it here. I don't even know why anymore. These are ones that I got from Shop Miss A. These are actually really good. And they're just a dollar. This is also an e.l.f. blush palette. And back here is this 10 blush palette from Coastal Scents when I first started getting into makeup. It's a great palette um, to do makeup like on different people. It gives them options. So this third drawer is my highlight and contour, which is like one of the most filled ones that I have right now. And I put them together because this is what I mostly aim for and I like bronzer and highlight. So for bronzer, I have my top favorites right here. It's my Hoola, of course, my Too Faced, and my other Too Faced bronzers. I have some ColourPop, which I don't even use. Some Bare Minerals, which I love. I had loved this one in high school, and I still love it. Some MAC uh, bronzer thing. And these are like the dollar ones that I bought from Shop Say that I don't even reach for all that often. Just this one mainly. Then some NYC, some model company bronzer that I got from BoxyCharm. Then these are my Wet n Wild highlights. And these are like my new ones that I just got. And then this is my Makeup Revolution. This one is bomb.com for a highlight like strip palette thing. And my e.l.f. which is also good. My ColourPop highlights which I love. And then my Sephora one. I have about everything. Oh. This is a blush. I don't know how it got there. Let's put it back. And then I have another e.l.f. highlight. And also my favorite right now is the Becca one. And this is my Anastasia Glow Kit that I do not even reach for anymore. Kind of sometimes when I'm feeling it. So if you saw in my e.l.f. one brand tutorial, this is my bronzer palette that I do not even use. I do not like it. And then these are my other highlights. And this is from... Physician's Formula Hourglass, which is a waste of money. I literally paid 60 bucks for this, and I don't ever reach for it. Like, I don't know. And I just keep it because I paid 60 bucks for it. This is a new one that I just got, LA Girl Strobe Light. And I got to swatch it, and oh my goodness, this is so freaking good. So this is my NYX. I have my MAC Soft and Gentle, which I also love. And my Ofra, and then my... Um, Artist Couture, which is bomb as well. And back here, I have my favorite bronzer of all time, but I don't ever use it in tutorials because it's it was limited edition. And this is my um, Carrie and Big, which is like Sex in, Sex in the City reference. And I love this bronzer and blush duo. Super cool. And then these are my backups that I have from Sun Bunny and my Hula bronzer, which I can't wait to get into because my other one is almost done. This is also another Physician's Formula bronzer that I don't even like the smell, so it just stays back there. And then my Wet n Wild contouring and highlight palette back there. So that is it for this one. This is my lip drawer, and if you saw my declutter series, I talked all about this drawer, so I'm not really going to get into it. Um, I got this for Christmas from, I think my aunt probably got it from TJ Maxx or Marshalls, one of those, um, big container, and I just put it in here because I don't have anywhere else to put it, and I didn't have anywhere to properly store my lipstick, so just so they all stand up, I put it in here, and I got these towers off of Amazon, so these are like my LA Girl, um, NYX, I have Milani, Maybelline, Wet n Wild, um, more Wet n Wild, uh, these are NYX, I have Revlon, all types of stuff. They're all in here. And on the last drawer is my skincare. This is like my hot ass mess drawer because I don't know how to properly store all this stuff. So I have my sheet mask right here, my wipes, my new cleanser that I just got. And you guys said it was good, so I can't wait to try this. 
um, some hand cream. These are all other creams that I have. Some SPF, my facial buffs that get in the way. Some more moisturizer, some toner, some Vaseline to be extra moisturized sometimes. Pampering because, um, you know, you get those cramps. Uh, my brush that I have, that is the only comb slash brush that I ever use. Some eye patch um, skincare that I just got from Shop Hush. Some drops, these are seriously the best. Previs when I need my skin to be balanced, I reach for this puppy. My Dr. Jart rubber mask that I know you guys want to review on. I haven't done it yet, so I will. Some other masks, they're all back here. These are the ones that I always reach for. And I put them back here because I want them all together. So I have the formula 1006, some or Elizaveca Milky Peggy, some uh, Mario Badescu, my three set that I got, some Vaseline um, spray lotion. And this is my Yes to Correct and Repair. I just picked this up. Grapefruit thing. It's supposed to correct your like imperfections at night and whatnot. Some more hand cream because I cannot be too moisturized. Some Nair that I absolutely like. Some Pods uh, moisturizer, which is my main moisturizer, of course. I have to use this. And then I have some other, like, random products that stay back there. And yeah, that is all here on this section. I will go to my other makeup tower right now. So moving on to this tower right here. On the first drawer, I have my foundations and my powders. So these are all foundations that I have mainly tried. I think like one of them or two I haven't tried, which is like these two back here that they were cost a dollar, so whatever. Um, these are all my L'Oreal True Match, my Clinique, which is amazing. An old Too Faced one that should, I should freaking throw away. My NYX Total Control, which is also good. My Better Skin, which is so freaking good. And I need to get a new one, like look at this. Um, it's just all on the side because it lays down, but I do need a new one. My Wet n Wild that I love, my Kevin Kwan, which I use very sparingly because it's freaking expensive and it actually was gifted to me, my little spatula that I bought. Um, over here is like my Do The Hula bronzer. I never even reach for this. You're supposed to put this on so you can like tan your skin, which I will do when I get tanned in the summer for my like my face, but yeah. I haven't tried that yet. This is my RCMA powder. You guys have seen that many times. Another setting powder. Some Ben Eye. Some Maybelline. Some NYX back here. My e.l.f. Laura Mercier. Some Rimmel. Another e.l.f. Too Faced powder. This is an e.l.f. Mattifying Balm, which I do not like. I should probably get rid of that. And my Wet n Wild Face powder as well. So that is it for this drawer. My other drawer is my face primers and sprays and some liquid highlighters and my beauty blenders. So in this drawer, I have some sprays here, like my Mario Badescu, my e.l.f. one, my Evian water, which is an amazing mist, some Josie Marion refreshing mist, and I just picked this one up from Pixie, Hydrating Milky Mist. If you guys saw me on Snapchat, I mentioned that I picked this up, so I can't wait to try this out, and it smells so freaking good. So in here is some of my primers and also some other sprays that just don't fit there. So I have e.l.f. primers, NYX primers, my silicone sponge thing, um, my favorite e.l.f. eye roller, my other favorite primer, Wet n Wild, some Argan Oil from Josie Marin, Nivea Men, um, hard candy primer that I don't even like. I need to give this or throw this away. I used it one time. Some e.l.f. setting spray, some Benefit um professional agent like it's a powder I don't really like this as all well. I don't really see a difference but I need to keep trying it out I guess and all my other blenders and some yeah they are dirty but I do have clean ones back here so that's just where they all live and then these are like my liquid highlighters that I have so I have some bronzer maracuja oil from Tarte this literally does bronze you, so I only use it in the summer. I don't know, some Becca Highlight, some Josie Mary Highlight Illuminator, LA Girl, some other brand that I got from BoxyCharm, another BoxyCharm one. This one actually is really good. The Beauty Crop um, brand is really good. This Highlighting Crew highlighter is really good. Anyways, some Benefit Shy Beam, and that is all in here. 
Moving on to the next drawer. Don't be alarmed. I need to um, go through these, but I do really do use a lot of these, mainly all of them, besides like one or two, but yeah. So these are my eyeshadow palettes. It's either high-end drugstore or other websites like these ones. So let's start from the back. Back here I have two of the newest ones that I got from Shop Hush, which I still need to do a tutorial on these because you guys want to see it. And then back here, the bottom are my Morphe palettes. And I only have three back here. So yeah, those live back there. Back here is my... A shop miss a like Z palette type thing and I just picked these up it's their brand that they have the A2O brand and these are like little shadows that you just get from them they're pretty inexpensive and they work really good like if you saw me on snapchat I swatched them so yeah they work look at that really well for being like 250 I think something like that so these are all eyeshadows these are actually two ColourPop shadows that I got I just don't have another separate like Z palette. I want to keep this to like just only shop this A, but they will live there for now. And this is like a bronzer blush highlight. So yeah, and these are actually really cute and they're only 10 bucks. So if you saw me on Snapchat, I mentioned these that if you guys are looking for a Z palette inexpensive rather than paying like 20 something, they have these which are no 10 or five, something like that. I'll have it linked down below if you guys want to check that out. These are all palettes that I got from Shop Hush. I honestly really do love this one. This one is great. And then these are all other ones. So here is my Tarte, another Tarte. I love Tarte shadows. Urban Decay, some Lorac. These are all Anastasia. Too Faced, another Anastasia. Elf palettes. These are all Coastal Scents when I really did love them. Like, I had to have all the revealed, of course. And then these are Makeup Revolution, which are really good too. This is an Ulta one. And then I have my Carly by Bell and my Coastal Scents. So, yeah, those are all my eyeshadow palettes. So, this is my pigment drawer, glitters, stuff like that, as well as little palettes that I don't want in the bigger palette drawer. These are my little palettes. So, I have a mixture Urban Decay. Uh, Wet n Wild, some Coastal Scents, some LA Colors, some MAC back there, and ELF, and Wet n Wild, more Urban K, blah blah blah, that type of stuff. These are all my ColourPop shadows that I do have. I just really have to work with them, and I don't really tend to go for these anymore. Oh, and this is like the Valentine's Day little duo that they had. These two colors are really pretty. So I got this from ColourPop as well. These are my Milani. Look how beautiful this color is. Sh single shadows. I have NYX. This is um, LA Colors. Um, MAC. MAC Pigment. Um, Sigma. ELF. And then these are all color tattoos from Maybelline. And then some ELF pigments. Um, more NYX. These are all glitters or pigments like a MAC pigment. And this one got burned so that's why. It's like that. Some other little pigments. Another MAC one. NYX. Coastal Scents glitters. If you want cheap glitters, go to Coastal Scents. Like, look at this glitter, how pretty it is. If you guys can focus this. Like, look at that. Really pretty and inexpensive. Um, some other Wet n Wild glitters, which are also good. I love these. Some NYC pigments. Some jumbo pencils. My favorite glitter is the uh, Moon Dust Glitter from Urban Decay. I got these other two pigments from Shop Messe. I haven't tried them out yet on my eyes, so I need two. And then I have a glitter glue, and that is it for this drawer. So this is my random drawer. This is the last drawer. These are all lashes, obviously. This is like my hair bands, some nail files, scissors, those little brush brushes that like Benefit and Too Faced have in their little packages. Here, a mirror. Some nail stuff. Um, my brush cleaner that I use that I got from Namie's. My Bellamy extensions that I do not even wear. They're braided back there. And some random body sprays that I do not use. And then some little um, cotton pads. 
and that is it. So guys, that is it for my vanity tour slash makeup collection video. I hope you guys enjoyed. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. Also, follow me on my social medias. The links will be down below. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.